Rob Summers was a star college pitcher five years ago when a hit and run accident left him paralyzed from the waist down. They said, you'll never walk again, you'll never take a step, nothing. They were wrong. Today, researchers working with the Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation announced Summers is the world's first patient to stand using a new therapy that could fundamentally change the treatment of paralysis. I stood, independently stood, after not having moved anything for four years, and I stood. The landmark findings are published in the journal Lancet. They challenge conventional thinking that signals from the brain are needed for walking. What we've really discovered is that the neurons in the spinal cord, the nerves in the spinal cord, can do all the same things as the nerves in the brain. Summer's injury disrupted the nerve pathway that normally triggers walking. Researchers implanted an electrical stimulator at the base of the spine that, along with special exercises, allowed his legs to move without input from the brain. Left leg up. Stand about an hour a day. I can move my toes, ankles, knees hips all on command. I've started regaining uh, abdominal strength and can do sit-ups now again. He's also made other meaningful progress, regaining bladder and sexual function. But he's still wheelchair bound, and doctors cannot say whether he'll ever walk again on his own. But every day he remembers the first time he stood up. It's that moment there that, that continues to give me the hope for tomorrow and the future for this project and helping out millions of other people in my same situation. He's only able to take steps with help when the stimulating device is plugged in in the lab, so it's nowhere near ready for widespread use. Katie? Well, put this in perspective for us, John. How important is this? Katie, this has never been done before. You have a guy who was paralyzed for years, and now he's able to stand up on his own, even take a few steps on a treadmill. That's amazing. And very, very exciting. John LaPook, John, thanks so much.